loveliest ladies in the ball. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur, although I'm not sure that Joan appreciates the comparison. So, your 30 seconds are up. She's all yours. I'm actually here to see you. Oh. Would you be so kind? Well, why not? No, the answer is no. Oh, Claire. Uh, Senator works. Do you really think that some fancy footwork would be enough to swim? Oh, just give it to the bridge. <laughs> You're already too late. No, I don't believe we've met. I'm Barb, Olivia's mom. You are. I'm Edward Taylor, and it's such a pleasure to meet you. Uh, this is Edward. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me he was so handsome. Uh, really? Because usually that's the first thing people say. Okay, mom, remember? I'm upset with Edward, and we're not talking to him. Well, like I told you before, he doesn't owe you anything. It was his job to take care of his clients. Whose side are you on? Yours, sweetheart, forever. Barb, thank you very much. Very <laughs> smart woman. <words. laughs> What's that? Speak up. I said I'm ready to pay your price, Crone. You would give up your wolf for this woman? Yes. Why? Reasons are not part of this bargain. If you give my strength to bow, you can take anything you need. <laughs> oh, well, then. A deal is struck. A sacrifice is named and accepted in exchange for my help in this bow. I will take from you that which you value the most. I will take. Love of her! <laughs> the memories of what you have lost, but you will never feel passion for her again! Please stay. I, I'd like you to hear this. I was a guest in your home, and I behaved dreadfully. And the worst part is, I offended someone very dear to me. I had no right to call into question any of the choices that you have made. I don't know if you could ever forgive me. Of course I can forgive you. Okay. <laughs> oh, I've... I've traveled all over the world and I've seen things so beautiful they make my heart ache. But you know I would be lying if I said that I sometimes didn't wonder what my life would be like if I'd made different choices. This is awkward. You know, the, these aren't mine. <laughs> you know your mother, she will ground me indefinitely. I won't tell. Thank you, sweetheart. I love you. <laughs> Go on, off the bed. <laughs> We've had dealings with Anne Shirley before this, haven't we? Yes, Mrs. Berry. For instance? Serving alcohol at a children's tea party. Really? Inexcusable. <laughs> no, please. Oh, no. Please don't do this. Oh, and the verdict?
So did I. Did you? Did you really? Yes. <laughs> now I feel so alive with you. Did you two have fun? Yes, yes, we did. We went to Truth House on the island, and we dined, and we played outside, and we watched clouds. It's almost midnight. Kind of late. Oh, I forgot about the time. Obviously. You missed dinner. We had plans. Oh, we did. Oh, I completely forgot. I'm so sorry, darling. Will you forgive me? Are you drunk? No. No. No, I am intoxicated with life. You know, between you and your sisters, I've got nine grandbabies now. I could spend the remainder of my good years wiping snotty noses, but I've already done that with my own kids. This is my time. I want to go places. I want to do things. Like what? I don't know. Whatever I feel like doing. Like fawn over yoga instructors? Well, if I feel like it, yes. Why not? I want to learn to rollerblade. I want to go ziplining. And maybe I want to try my hand at nude volleyball. There's... What are you talking about? I seem to find the happiness I see. Did you have something to do with this? When we're out together dancing.